Trisha Christian, today I'm going to discuss the prophetic financial freedom and the prophetic wealth transfer. There's been a lot of speculation over the years, a lot of teachings that have taught about a great wealth transfer during the last days. And one of the things that I'm going to bring to you today is the one Christian prophet who has prophesied this on more than several different occasions and has also prophesied the events leading up to that as well. Now this video is dedicated to the prophet Kim Clement. He's passed away now. But some of the things that I'm going to show you, some of the things that he said, you need to listen. There is a prophetic wealth transfer coming. Now the prophet Kim Clement has prophesied many, many different things that have come to pass over and over and over. Everything from September 11th to President Obama to President Trump, Hurricane Katrina, and many, many other events well before they happened. Now, there is a wealth transfer coming, and there is just one part to this wealth transfer, but it does come at a cost. Now, I'm going to explain things a little bit more deeper after you listen to what the great prophet Kim Clement has said. Many of you have been waiting and waiting and waiting but there is an opportunity, and you have to take the opportunity. But like I said, it does come at a cost. Now, the one part of this great wealth transfer does deal with the country of Iraq, and it does deal with our currency of the dinar. After I show you seven minutes of Kim Kumit's prophecies concerning the wealth transfer, I'll come back and explain a little bit more. But listen to what the prophet has said prophetic financial freedom and the prophetic wealth transfer. God does speak to his prophets. There are prophets of today. Whether you believe that or not, this is going to happen and this is coming. If many of the things that he has said have come to pass, then this is one thing that you definitely need to listen to. Some of you are have been praying and waiting for an opportunity, an opportunity of investment, but this is just one part of the wealth transfer. After I show you this Seven minutes of Kim Clement's prophecies. I will be back. The time of God's, whatever he wants to do. The timing is so important. What, what is the, what I mean, what is the so, prophetic, the prophetic word concerning the Middle East? I mean, is there a specific prophetic word that you are, that you are giving now? I mean, you, you gave a general word that the Islamic nations would come to Christ. Mm -hmm. But is there a specific time frame that, that God speaks to your spirit about? Yes. Well, there's some of it I can't share now, of course, but 2002 is mm -hmm. when I saw this huge thing happening oh. because of, of something that would happen between America and China, funny enough, but <laughs> that would take place. <laughs> yeah. And then I saw that you know, eight years ago, and then, right. uh, then as a result of that, I saw the surrender of masses of wealth coming from the East to, to, to the United States of America and the West. And I, I, I didn't understand it. And of course, today you get a lot of prophecy teachers will get very mad with you and you say, because, oh, that'll never happen. Because, but we know all the things that are going to happen. Mm -hmm. But don't let's rule out God's sovereign ability to, to intervene and to change things, not the word, to change things so that people's hearts can be reached. Okay, hasn't been time, hasn't been time, sudden change. So, for those that are, are investing, I cannot tell you to, 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 to do this or purchase them, but for those that are holding on, uh, nothing, 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 and then suddenly something. Okay. Down his road. This is where I will command my blessing. For I have whispered in the ear, of my prophets can these bones live I spoke to Ezekiel and I said can these bones live he answered you know Lord and my spirit came and as he spoke it went to the north to the south and to the east and to the west 
My question to you is, can these bones live? Can my spirit bring them back to life? Those who have died, those who are spiritually dead, can these bones live? But I have excitement for you, says the spirit. Though you are surrounded by fear, doom and gloom, I have set apart certain truths for my people to prosper. And I say to you, it has now begun. They have spoken of the Dana. They have spoken of the amazing discoveries, the big E, Synchrotron. I have spoken of these things that will be manifest, but yet there has been a cover upon these things. I say to you, I will release them one at a time because this is the beginning of acceleration, says the Spirit of God. A promise has come to me very clearly that over the Middle East and specifically over Iraq and those regions, something has opened up. Now, somebody says, well, what does that something mean? It means that there are people not praying in America necessarily, but in Iran, in Iraq, in those regions, God has heard the prayers of the Christians on that territory where there is blood being shed. As a result of it, and this came to me, just came to me two days ago, three days ago, that there will be, there will be provision for the world because of what's opened up over the Middle East. Now that sounds crazy, I know, because there's so much wickedness going on with the leaders there. That doesn't matter. So God spoke about the, uh, the, the fact that there would be, there would be uh, blessings that would come as a result of their prayers being answered. Now, what, as a result of it, there will be a surrender. There will also be a financial issue uh, concerning the, uh, um, the uh, dinar that I clearly heard because of this opening up as well. So now you, you are hearing things that are basically been spoken but are actually prophetic promises. Spirit of God is speaking now over the region of Iraq, over the region of Iran, over the regions of the Middle East and Southern, Southern Asia. The earth is shaken and shall shake again. But God said, I am speaking that I may release resources and there will be a grave surrender that will take place in the months to come. I want to free you, every one of you, my people, to be able to stretch out their hand to the lonely, to the hungry, to the poor, and feed them and clothe them. This is my desire, says the Lord. Therefore, there shall be a break in the financial system in the Middle East, the dinar, and many shall say, why, why now? But God said, when things seem at their worst, I shall bring it forth and I shall free them up. There shall be a prosperity in a place where you least expect it. The prayers of my people in Iran and the prayers of my Christian people that come forth from Iraq and from Palestine. Yes, Palestine and even those regions. I will hear their prayers and I will do something marvelous and will affect this nation, says the Lord. You put your hand in the hand of Iran. I say to you, I will remove the hand of America out of the hand of Iran, says the Lord. And I will free up my people for their promise is yes and amen. Yes and amen. So you just listen to what the great prophet Clem Clement has said. Part of it has to deal with the U.S.-China deal, but also part of it is also has to do with what's going on and currently right now there's a trade and currency war going on and if you've watched any of the videos that I've posted in the last several months 
if you've been following Currency 365, you will see that this is all becoming a reality. Now, just to kind of explain for those of you who don't know, who have never heard, what is the Iraqi dinar? Well, after, shortly after the invasion, after Iraq was invaded for the second time, and the country became somewhat stable again, the Central Bank of Iraq released new notes. Now, before the invasion, the exchange rate was $3.20 per Iraqi dinar. Speculation has ranged from dropping the zeros to reinstating the old rate of $3.20. In 2014, the Central Bank of Iraq had, had planned on releasing the new notes and revaluing their currency. According to the Prophet Kim Clement, the dinar will bring great wealth to the Middle East and to the United States. But over the last five to six years, over and over and over, this has been delayed. Now, the Central Bank of Iraq has done everything it can to stabilize the Iraqi dinar. The government has implemented economic policies that have produced record oil production. They've bought massive tons of gold, and they've rooted out much of some of the terrorism that has gone on in the country. Now, if you look at Kuwait, their exchange rate right now is about where the Iraqi dinar was before the war. Now, I cannot tell you to go and purchase the dinars because I am not a financial advisor, but I do believe in the words of the great prophet Clem Komet. And in order to be a part of this, part of this wealth transfer, it does come at a cost. Now, with everything in the current news, such as the U.S. China trade war, everything going on uh, all around the world. There is a currency war going on, and economies are literally falling apart. There are wars and rumors of wars. The Prophet Klim said, said, why now? Why now? When things seem at their worst, this is when it's going to come. So for those who are listening, for those who are waiting for an opportunity to get out of debt, for those who are waiting for financial deliverance, Prophetic financial freedom and the prophetic wealth transfer that Kim Clement has prophesied has slowly been coming to pass. Iraq and all the trouble that is going on right now within the Middle East, Asia, and all around the world, these things have been slowly unraveling Kim Clement's prophecies. Now, when you do your research, you will find there are many mainstream articles that denounce what's going to happen with the dinar. Now, of course, Kim Clement has prophesied these things, and the enemy will do everything they can to stop the prophetic financial freedom and the prophetic wealth transfer. Now, I believe in the prophet Kim Clement because everything he has said, many of the prophecies have come true. Kim Clement said that there will be a great wealth transfer coming to the West and to the United States. For those who pay attention, you've made your investments, and you've taken part. For those of you who have not, I will post the link down below to where you can get started. Are you ready to be a part of the wealth transfer? Are you ready for financial freedom? It does come at a cost. And if you believe in what the prophet says, you will take advantage of that. And like I said, this is only one part of the wealth transfer. Now, the Central Bank of Iraq has stated in many, many politicians that are that are involved in the finances of the government have said repeatedly over and over that they can support a high rate now the enemy has come against this country for many many years and there's going to come a time where they say why now why now and God said when these things seem at their worst I shall bring it forth and I shall free them up they shall be a prosperity in a place where you least expect it and this is where the prosperity comes in a place where you least expect it now, if you want to learn more about the great wealth transfer, you can check out the links down below. And you can also check out the links of the Kim Clement Ministries. And they will all be down below in the description. Winds of change have come. And will you be part of that change?